stars like Lewis Hamilton have been battling for virtual pole position on sim racing contests. Ah, that was a good exit before. 6 tenths out, now we need to find more time. We can be one second faster for sure. The 2019 Formula One champion is not the only big name pushing their limits electronically. Formula One rival Max Verstappen is a regular contender on virtual racetracks all over the world. Hi guys, Max here. Um, you know, through the, the current situation, I try to stay at home as much as possible, of course. And of course, to stay ready, um, I do a lot of sim work. Uh, on my simulator at home. Of course, simulated driving makes different demands on real world champs like Lewis Hamilton, but racing incognito puts them in funny situations too. And no one knows it's me. I noticed there was, there was a couple of different uh, people using parts of my name. So there was Ham something and, and this guy kept crashing into me and taking me out. And I was like, if only he knew that he's racing against me. <laughs> Brendan Lee is not the kind of esports driver to be intimidated by the big names of real world racing. The fact that I'm racing an F1 driver doesn't really mean much to me, to be honest, um, because every driver is a com competition. For me, it doesn't matter who the name is, um, I just want to beat them. I don't really have an idol because I aspire to be my own person, my own driver, and I aspire to be the best person I can be. I don't really focus on looking up to someone else too much. Lee up the inside, wheel to wheel, what a place to make the move! Brendan Lee into the net lead of the race in Singapore! I think the secret to success is just hard work, grit and determination, just never give up. I dedicated my life to sim racing and racing and being competitive and I worked really, really hard at it. I sat in my bedroom for 12, 13 hours a day, didn't do anything else and I just dedicated it to that. The driver's champion of 2018 is Brendan Lee. Lee became Formula One Esports World Champion ahead of 66,000 other competitors. For the final race, I was shaking and basically borderline throwing up from being so nervous. Competition is competition. I think the fascination of virtual racing is exactly the same fascination what a real life driver has to go drive a real car. The thrill of driving real cars sits deep in Stoffel van Dorn, ex-Formula One driver from Belgium. He joined Mercedes Formula E team in 2019, but during the corona shutdown, he really got into sim racing. Of course, that has meant rising to the challenge of eSports champs like Brendan Lee. It's funny to race against uh, people like Brendan because uh, you know they are they are incredibly fast on on those racing games you know they are professional esports uh, racers and and they know all the little tricks in uh, in those little games it's 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 a lot of fun yeah i enjoy it personally because it gives uh, yeah it, it keeps us uh, fresh let's say you know so we we still have a have some competition there is a lot of other drivers that are that are doing it as well Drivers such as touring car racer Philip Eng. He spends several hours a day in his top-notch racing simulator, which he says is crucial to get through the coronavirus restrictions. It's a good um, way to stay sharp, uh, also fighting against other people, other real people, other real drivers. Um, keeps me sharp and keeps my instincts alive. Well, the main difference between a simulator and the real race car is that um, if you crash, uh, you just press escape uh, in the simulator and you will get the new race car. Um, you cannot get hurt uh, unless you fall out of the simulator somehow. And Verstappen got up to 10. Max Verstappen up to 10 on the final lap. With gridfuls of top real-world racing stars out on the virtual tracks, there's never been a better time for esports gamers to test their skills against their heroes. Under the apron, drag race to the line. It's so close to call. It is going to be 1,000 to Max Verstappen. He wins. Yeah, right now there are so many real racing drivers who are into sim racing and who do it every day. 
So yeah, I also raced against Lando Norris or Max Verstappen, who are Formula One drivers. It's great to race against them, and it's also great to see that they're also having fun doing it. The appeal of virtual racing has long been clear to car manufacturers. They often create prototypes expressly for testing in computer games like Gran Turismo to see if they should be unveiled in the real world. BMW has thrown its resources into creating its own sim racing events where you can push their racing cars to the limit. And Porsche has turned its prestigious Super Cup into a virtual version featuring all the current real-world teams and drivers. We have the ambition to be part of, um, of the best forms of motor racing um, that there are present in, the, uh, in today's world. And there is, there is so much going on and it's such... Uh, Overall, it's still quite a, quite a blank page, and therefore a um, lot of creativity can be brought into action here, and also lots of fresh ideas and lots of new approaches. Such new approaches landed Brandon Lee a spot with Mercedes' own Formula One eSports team. The virtual racers share the same base in England as the real world ones. So Brendan can train on the same simulator that Lewis Hamilton uses to prepare for his Formula One races. If Lewis wants to put the time in that I put in to F1 eSports or any racing game, he'll be at the top. Well, it's just fast, isn't it? Um, everything what he does is just quick, it's smooth. Um, he's focusing on Formula One, I'm focusing on F1 eSports. And when our paths cross, then we have a catch up, we talk to each other. Brendan doesn't mind that Lewis is more popular at the moment. The 20-year-old is happy about developments in virtual racing and optimistic about the future of his chosen sport. I think the future of virtual racing, you'll see a lot more real drivers getting involved. I think the prize pool and the money you make from virtual racing will probably be more than like a, most people make in real life motorsport, to be honest come one day in the future it's quite possible that the virtual racing will overtake the real life racing in all aspects of popularity for sure high adrenaline racing in the midst of coronavirus is only possible on sim tracks and who knows maybe the crisis will prove a breakout moment for virtual racing <laughs>